Lancaster High School's Tiger Stadium is named after one Beverly D. Humphrey, the athletic director and Tiger track coach legend, whose offices and hallways are lined with the plaques and trophies that go along with 13 girls' state track titles. And it's also where... Hello, Dale. You will find Dale Hansen's biggest fan. You know, you see Dale Hansen, you get excited. Let's be real here. I'm a, I'm a fan, and I do know that Dale loves fried chicken. She also knows... This is Dale Hansen, Scholar Athlete of the Week. That Dale Hansen has had a lasting impact on high school sports. Choosing in one of the biggest sports towns in the country to give high school athletes their turn in the spotlight too. You know, memories are treasured and they're blessed. Dallas Skyline High School basketball coaching legend J.D. Mayo can testify to that. Well, I think with high school sports, he just really connected because he cared about the kids maybe recognized uh, as an athlete of the week. It, it was a big deal to me for our students because uh, we had some that were selected. I love the way uh, he does that show and how he brags on those kids. That's a memory they would take with them for life, what he does for kids. You know, when you go interview for a job, you probably have that on your resume. And yes, we found that to be very true because one Bront Hermsmeyer was featured as a scholar athlete from Comanche, Texas, four years ago. And now... Put it on my resume, I'll say that, and it was a definite resume booster. Part of the chain of events that landed the UNT Denton graduate a job on the public relations team for the Dallas Cowboys. I was so excited just to meet him, much less, you know, be on the show. I remember that whole experience, and even though it was such a short time, you know, in the studio, I, I mean, it's, it's really an honor to be even considered one of his scholar athletes. Hi, I'm Justin Terry from Wiley High School. And back in 1996, a baseball star named Justin Terry from Wiley High School with flowing locks of hair was a Dale Hansen scholar athlete too. Whatever happened to him? I had a whole lot more hair then. <laughs> and it was a little poofier. <laughs> you can find him at Forney ISD. He's Dr. Justin Terry now. He's the Forney ISD superintendent. You know, the funny thing is, I looked over this morning as I was walking out, and I saw the VH, VHS tape that they gave us as we left. But you know, what I remember it, about him is, that he, although he was a sports anchor, uh, he, he always took time to focus on not just the athlete, but the academics. And um, that's, that's kind of stuck with me, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. And so from, for me personally, uh, it was just a, a great experience to, to meet him and see that there was more to life than baseball. And Mr. Hansen, in my opinion, he was really totally committed and totally compelled with the high school sports. And you have to care about kids to do those kind of things and love those kids. They love Dale Hansen. I talk about Dale Hansen all the time. I consider Dale as my friend. Now, I don't know if he feels the same about me, but uh, for me, he's one of the greatest guys I know. And I'm talking about all of sport. All of sport, especially high school, where thousands of teachers and coaches and athletes can testify to Dale's motivation and his impact. You're looking at one of your greatest supporters, your biggest fan, and I am quite sad that you are retiring. Thank you so much for, for all that you've done for the Dallas-Fort Worth area um, in, in the sports community. And I just really appreciate uh, you caring about kids making a difference in those kids' lives, being positive and encouraging in, uh, to them as well. Dale, just wanna say thank you. Thank you for uh, all that you have done, uh, not only for high school athletics, uh, sports in general, uh, but also uh, for education. He's a fair person and he cares about, I think everybody except for the people he can't stand. <laughs> and we can testify to that too. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.